Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've got a quick video that won't have my face in it tonight. I'm uh, making a quick video here just on uh, what stuff I've resold on eBay within the last, I don't know, month or so. Um, we're starting off here with a women's uh, Alabama Crimson Tide helmet sold for $13.99 shipped. On most of these uh, hats I got wholesale. I make about $4 on at that price point. Got a Arizona State University hat I sold for $13.99 shipped. Um, looks like two of those Arizona State University hats. Um, here we go, we got something different. This is an Athern John Deere Model B Express um, HO scale train set. Um, had been opened, looked brand new in box, but it had been opened and the box is pretty beat up. Uh, I sold this for $84.99 plus $10.62 shipping, so right at about, the, not quite $100, but pretty close. I got this at a garage sale for $40, so um, I didn't double my money or make like 10x on a lot of stuff, but I did end up probably profiting maybe $35 to $40, somewhere in that price range after fees. Um, this was a good one for me. I went to a garage sale. I only got a book for like... 50 cents or a dollar uh, law book at this garage sale and I was getting ready to leave and they were still putting other stuff out and there's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff out there and they put this out and I looked at it as I was walking back to my car and I'm like huh and I was all like well um, walking back to my car I look it up on eBay as I'm walking back to my car and they're like sold for like anywhere from 60 to 100 dollars on this item and I was all like um, I know the medical stuff sells really well especially pre-owned because if you were to buy this polar care cube um, it has a thing you can wrap around your uh, shoulder or your knee for like rehabbing if it's swollen and stuff like that um, and soreness it basically pumps uh, ice cold water through uh, that to a little uh, pad that is wrapped around your shoulder or your knee basically um, and I seen they wanted $15 for it so I paid it and ended up getting 80 shipped um, was still had the original box and the receipt and everything I think they sold closer to $350 new so it saved um, the buyer some money and it sold pretty quickly within like two or three days of listing it um, I got a biker wallet sold for $24.99 with a 9 inch chain this went to Canada um, I got this wallet for, it was either 50 cents or a dollar, I don't remember exactly, I bought two of them. Got another um, hat, this is a uh, unisex or men, sold for $13.99 for University Cal. Um, got a Carolina Panthers, this is a, just a thin like windbreaker jacket, sold for $29.99, I got this in a wholesale lot as well. I got this at a garage sale for I think a quarter if I remember right. Um, it's a Disney Pixar Toy Story um, T-Rex guy from Toy Story. Sold for $16.24 shipped. Didn't make a whole lot because the shipping um, was a little more than I thought it was going to be on this, but I still did make some money on it. Um, this was um, from a lot of Wii stuff that I bought um, probably a month and a half ago. Um, this had Donkey Kong Barrel Blast and Endless Ocean. I was lotting two games up at a time to kind of help combine the shipping and increase the price so the shipping didn't cut into the margin as much. Um, sold for $19.99 shipped and it cost me about $3 and a bubble mailer to ship two games. Um, so I did okay on the games. I still got a lot of games to sell. As soon as all the games and the system sells, I'll make uh, double my money. Uh, but it's been kind of slow to sell. Also got like a Wii Fit board and some other things. So I'll make more than double my money. It's just going to take some time. <coughs> Got an emergency care and transportation book, 10th edition. I think they were on the 12th edition when I looked online for college. This is basically for anyone going into nursing or EMS. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar and it quickly sold for $44.99 shipped. Went media mail. This was a cool one. Um, Focus on the Family Broadcast 2016 and 2017 Best of Audiobooks, new sealed. I got these at a garage sale. Um, in a nicer neighborhood here in town, um, younger family, nice house. Um, got them for a dollar a piece, and there's two of them, and sold them for $27.99 shipped within 24 hours of listing them on eBay. Um, so maybe close to 10x my money. Maybe I got close to $20 back after shipping and fees. I got a Magic the Gathering non-foil Grand Prix Las Vegas play mat with the Black Lotus on it for the 25th anniversary. Sold this one for $43.99. It was the last one I had in my inventory. 
uh, Grand Theft Auto 2 uh, for PS2 complete, had the booklet and the map and everything in it, didn't even have to clean the disc. I got this for a dollar at a garage sale, sold it for $9.87 shipped, so I made about 4 or $5 profit on it. Here's a good one. This is a Harley Davidson Boom audio kit for motorcycle helmets that you can hook up and be able to talk uh, through those and through the CB as well um, with your partner rider or other riders uh, next to you with the CB. So pretty cool system. It was like new. I also got two motorcycle helmets at the same garage sale. Everything I got all together for $40. Um, there is actually two headset kits in here in the one box. Um, one of the boxes was missing, but they still had one of the boxes, so I used it as part of the sale. Um, brand new when it retailed was $189.99 um, for one kit, and I sold two kits used for $161.99. Uh, this one I went aggressive pricing because I was trying to get my money back out of the item. It took about three days to sell, um, and it paid for my whole lot of two helmets and two headsets and put um, quite a bit of profit in my pocket, too. I think I ended up over $100 in profit just off this item and paid for everything else. Got an old Star Wars toy. Um, sold for $10.99. This was from the 2000s. Another one from the 2000s. Luke Skywalker toy, $10.99. Got a whole bunch of these Star Wars figures and a lot um, about two years ago and they'd just been sitting in my closet so I decided to sell them. Uh, 1049 for another one. Here's a good book. Uh, it's a green and gold H.G. Wells books. Has uh, six different novel stories in there. Uh, did have an inscription from the 80s when this book was new, when it was given to the people's son. Um, sold it for 1614, shipped, went medium L. And uh, this did go to like um, Germany or Austria. Kind of cool. Um, got a Houston Cougars tank top, um, University of Houston. Sold for eighteen seventy four. This came from a wholesale lot. I paid four dollars for everything in the wholesale lot, so I did okay on this one. Probably took three dollars to ship, so I probably made uh, seven dollars or so in profit. I got some J Crew stripes, striped and dotted socks. These aren't the type of socks that I wear because of the colors, and also that they're long socks. I wear ankle high socks, and these are like knee high almost. Um, so I sold these as a lot for $16.99. I won them in a, like a work contest back when I was still working. And uh, sold them for $16.99 shipped. They went to, um, I think these went to Denmark, um, which was kind of crazy. Um, got an old raw um, 1980 Star Wars IG-88 figure. Sold for $8.99 shipped. Um, here you go. You got another sealed Power of the Force uh, Stormtrooper. Um, sold for $10.99 shipped. Here's a Lego Minecraft The Farm 2114, um, brand new sealed in the box. I got this several Christmases ago. I bought a whole bunch of Legos for $100 just because I was splurging, spending money. I was still selling cars at the time. And uh, I don't think I made money on this. I think I probably got close to breaking even or maybe even lost a few dollars from when I had purchased it new. I don't exactly remember how much I purchased it for. I think it was like 65 bucks or something, but I wasn't using it and I was collecting dust, so I freed it. Got a Star Trek. Uh, Mego Company, not Kenner, Mego, uh, Dr. McCoy and Scotty Action figure both, only uh, McCoy shown here. Rough shape, they had some paint on them. Uh, these came with the Star Wars figures that I got, uh, sold for $16.99 shipped for both fig figures. Here's a big one. I got this as a investment slash speculation um, maybe about six, excuse me, six months ago. And I'm not going to tell you what I paid for it. But I did make quite a bit of money on this one. Sold for, ended up taking a best offer. 1700 shipped. And it went to, um, it went global shipping. Um, but this ended up going global shipping to Canada. Here's another cool thing. I had a uh, San Diego Comic Con 2015. I had sold all the Planeswalkers out of it. Um, individually or within a collection I sold and I had this sitting in my closet and it had the sealed art book which is really cool I, I seen pictures of the art book online but I left this sealed um, took me a while to sell it I thought I was gonna get 50 or 60 for it because some had, were comped then but there's not a whole lot not a big sell through rate so I ended up taking $34 for it got it out of my closet shipped it medium mail since it's a book um, Here's another Black Lotus play mat. This was the one before the other one I had shown earlier. This was I had three or four of these. This was like the second or third one to sell for $43.99 shipped. Got it at the Grand Prix. 
Here's another Grand Prix play map from GP Denver from two years ago. It's uh, Jerper Orrery, sold for $21.99 shipped. I actually think this sold on sale for like $19.74 if I remember right. Here we go. We got a bunch of dual lands. We got a Badlands sold for $189.99 shipped. Um, another Badlands, $187.99 shipped. We got a Bayou, $187.99 shipped. And these were all in moderate to heavy plate condition. Another Bayou sold for $187.99 shipped. Another Bayou sold for $187.99 shipped. Okay, here we're on to a new one now. We got a sold a Plateau, $111.99 shipped. Um, a Savannah, $137.99 shipped. SP to MP. Here's another SP to MP sold for $124.99. A Tropical Island um, in moderate plate condition sold for $244.99. A uh, Tundra I sold for $169.99. You can see this is HP damage. This actually had water damaged, and you could tell the top of the card is like has a whole bunch of white speckles up on the border and stuff. It was like it's still sleeve playable, but it's kind of crunchy. Uh, but I did um, uh, state that in the description. Um, it's just a cheap copy for somebody to play with um, in Commander or Legacy. And uh, the person got it, and they didn't know if it was real or not. And I knew it was real because I always inspect these cards before I buy them. And um, he had a store look at it and got back to me a couple days later and said, it's legit, it's pretty rough shape, but I knew that when I bought it, but it's legit and gave me feedback. <clears throat> here we go, got a bigger one here, three sixty seven ninety nine for a Underground Sea Heavy Play. Um, three seventy five for a different Underground Sea Heavy Play. Um, here we go, got a Volcanic Island, sold for three fifty for a moderately played. Uh, another one sold for four thirty nine ninety nine. This one was a slight play. Um, this person who bought this ended up buying a underground sea and a badland from me within um, two or three days of this getting uh, mailed to them. Got a play set of scalding tarns, two from uh, Modern Masters twenty seventeen and two from the original Zendikar set. Sold for three eighty nine ninety nine shipped. Um, sold within. These were one of the higher um, buy it nows that was listed, but there was only like five five play sets listed online on eBay, um, and it took about five days to sell. Got an old Fester's Quest Nintendo game sold for five thirty nine shipped. Didn't make hardly any money on this. I think I got it for a dollar um, after fees and everything. I probably broke even, but it was good to get rid of it. Got a Baltimore Ravens hat from my liquidation lots thirteen ninety nine. Uh, it was a size medium large. Old Tennessee Titans, uh, Chris Johnson jersey. This actually sold on sale. I think this sold for $33.99 if I remember right shipped. Um, and it was just an old one. I did lose money on it, but I had it for several years and I did wear it a couple times and that sort of thing. So I was just cleaning out the closet. Got a uh, genuine Nintendo adapter and the high definition component cable. Um, I took a best offer of $18 plus shipping on this. Um, got it with the Wii lot of other stuff uh, with games and the system and everything. So it just helped get me to a total um, to where I'm going to be at a break-even point and then make some profit pretty soon with some of the other stuff as it sells. This was another thing from the Wii lot. Uh, classic controller sold for $12.59 shipped. This was another thing from the Wii collection. Um, two Guitar Hero guitars. One was a generic, one was an actual Guitar Hero version. Wireless guitars. And the uh, copy of Guitar Hero World Tour. You can see I sold it for $39.99. Um, I also got about uh, almost $12 shipping because it was a uh, pain in the ass to ship these. They don't really fit in a box. Um, most of the boxes of the, the size of this that'll fit it are going to cost you $4 a piece just for the cardboard box from like Lowe's if you buy them in bulk, the, the big, big boxes. So this one, I just taped it up real good uh, with bubble wrap around everything, taped it up real good, uh, taped it up real good. And then I also um, put a giant uh, poly meller on it, um, and they were very careful in shipping and uh, got to them okay and got feedback. Here's some more Wii games. Price is right and Will of Fortune, $15.99 shipped, lotted them up. I've been doing uh, groups of two games on these Wii games. Um, an old PS3 game I had sitting in my closet, $5.69 for Medal of Honor Warfighter. This is just freeing up space. I probably just broke even. Uh, Ravnica Allegiance game day playmat that I won here at my local gaming store, $35.69 on sale. Um, took a while to sell. I had to keep dropping the price on it from like $55. Um, I don't use playmats. It's a cool playmat, but it went to a good home. 
Um, this was a dollar um, baseball glove I got at some point, sold for $19.99, got it at a garage sale. Um, that did include shipping, so shipping was probably like 6 or $7 in a padded flat rate, um, I think is what it went in, maybe at $7.33. Um, but I still ended up making like 10 to $12 profit. This is a um, retail arbitrage uh, spec. Um, this is a Roblox um, figure set with 10 pieces for figures. Queen Salamane. I don't know anything about the game. I, th I heard it's like Minecraft a little bit. But I got these at Claritz at Walmart when I was grocery shopping one night for 5 bucks a piece. Um, and this sold for $14.44 ships. So I didn't make a ton of mo money, but I ended up making about $4 profit on it. Here's a Sony Walkman. This went to, and I think this went to uh, Air Force Base in Germany. Um, sold for $26.99 shipped. Um, and I did have to take the batteries out because it went to an APO. You're not allowed to ship batteries APO, FPO. Um, and I did look that up because I wasn't sure. Um, and the soldier that got this um, liked it for what he was doing for work. Here's another one. Um, maybe this was the one that went to the airbase. I don't really remember. Walkmans have been really hot for me. Tape deck and CD player Walkmans have been hot. Um, this one sold for $29.99. I got both these Walkmans for a dollar or less at garage sales. Um, here we go, Super Mario Brothers Wii. This came from the Wii lot. This one went single because it was worth more than having a lot it up. Sold for $14.39 shipped as is. Um, this is a Total Money Makeover book I got for a dollar not too long ago. Sold for $12.49 shipped. Here's um, helmets. Motorcycle helmets have been doing really well for me. Um, this Simpson hat. I think I took a best offer of like $55 or $60 on this one. Um, it did have some adhesive on the top of the hat. And the ear, the ear parts inside were flaking, um, dry rotting. And you can see some of the dry rot at the top of the um, visor here. Um, it's an older vintage hat. Um, from the 80s um, so they're kind of rare to find it's a you could use it as a race hat if you wanted to but they've updated the materials and race hats now and um, helmets that is and uh, but I thought it would be a good conversation piece man cave posted up in a restaurant bar something like that and this sold within 24 hours of, of purchasing it at a garage sale for three dollars <coughs> um, here we go we got a Olympus style lens it was a uh, 55 millimeter with the fraction 2.8. Uh, I had to do a little bit of research because I didn't know what the f 2.8 meant. Um, camera stuff's really popular. It just depends on what you get. I got a lot of a whole bunch of different camera lenses for $25. This one sold for, I did take an offer on this one because it went overseas of, I think it was either $79.99 or $84.99. And it went, I believe, to Japan Global Shipping. And the customer was very happy with it. Um, here's an old one. I got this at a garage sale either for $0.10 cents or $0.25. Cents. Um, it was an estate sale. Um, an old lady was moving into a retirement home, so they were selling a lot of her belongings to downsize. Um, and I got a whole bunch of stuff from this one. Um, took a while to sell, but it is a Disney hat with a Winnie the Pooh on it. Sold for $14.99 shipped, and I got it for next to nothing. Um, so that's all the stuff I've sold with here within the last 30 days that I've gotten feedback on and taken a screenshot of. Um, so if there's any of these items that you have a question about or were surprised about um, as far as it's selling on eBay or selling quickly on eBay, please drop a comment below. Let me know what you pick up at garage sales to flip on eBay or some of the categories that have been really good for you. And I appreciate you guys dropping by the channel and have a fantastic night.